The countdown is on to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics right here on KPRC2. A little less than 10 days to go until the opening ceremony. And Keith and I leave later this week to begin our coverage in Tokyo. And some athletes have already made their way to Tokyo as well. Many athletes preferring to be there to start acclimating to the environment. Health reporter Haley Hernandez spoke to someone today who knows how important getting into the mindset is to that peak performance. So true. So most athletes of any kind will tell you that mentality is a large part of performance. And the woman coaching many through the mental games of the Olympics lives right here in Houston. Today I talked to her about how she is helping to prepare them mentally for their biggest physical challenge. Sports psychologist Lenny Waite knows better than most how mental health is an important element to being in your best shape. Really wasn't that long ago that I was one of these athletes going through similar things, obviously during a non-pandemic time. After the games in Rio, Waite came back to Houston as a full-time sports psychologist. She says she works with just about every U.S. track and field athlete, as well as six others headed to the Olympics and 20 or so more. Weight is part of a small field that specifically focuses on athletes, but she says her service was in high demand once the pandemic delayed the games in Tokyo. For women who wanted to start a family or for people who were planning to transition just because it was that time in their life and, and delaying that decision a year was was hard. She helps those with their heart set on getting to the Olympics, winning a medal, or just striving for their personal best to overcome performance fears, anxiety, or letting emotions get in their way. Big thing with a lot of people is that they say, you know, practice days, they do incredible. When it comes to these high pressure, higher intensity moments, they crumble. If you're just under a lot of general life stress, it's really going to negatively impact your ability to train at a high level day in and day out. Also relationships in general, having a really supportive coach athlete relationship a really supportive network of people around you is important. And the advice she consistently gives. Don't try to match what got your competitor that gold medal or what your best friend is doing because that's not you. Now, she says some athletes thrive under competition and the spotlight. Others are much more low-key or introverted. Her job is to build sports psychology intervention around what works for them. And I think the best thing is if Olympic athletes include this in their training, you can only hope that eliminates the stigma of mental health. Right, guys? What an interesting perspective yeah. she can provide. We know there's a lot of athletes that are saying, hey, it's going to be hard not having friends there or family there because yep. of the pandemic. Did she Even mention, fans, Haley? Yeah, yeah fans. It, yep. It's upsetting to these athletes not to have that support there. She did talk about that. She says it's going to be upsetting for the people who medal and don't have that support system to celebrate with. But she says for some athletes, not having that pressure from the crowd is going to be a relief for them. The advice that she gave her clients, she says, is um, she was telling them to plan a family trip after the Olympics. So they have that time to celebrate just the entire process that got them there, especially since this Olympics in particular, there's been a huge buildup and it can be kind of depressing when you do something like that, when you build up for years and years and years and then suddenly it's over. So I thought that was pretty good advice that she yeah. gave them. The, the, they're strong, but also the mental game of these athletes, like in order to yeah. get to this level is unparalleled. So can't totally. wait to see what they do in Tokyo and such an interesting perspective that doctor yeah. can provide. Indeed, yep. indeed. All right, Haley, thanks so much. Yeah.